this podcast is misogynistic. Is that correct? I don't want to put words in your mouth. Um, I think that um, a lot of the conversations surround discrediting misogyny and essentially criticizing women on a hypercritical lens. I mean, I don't, I'm not saying specifically you, but I would say, as you were saying, with the mass implication of media, um, I do think a lot of commenters or a lot of conversations are sparked in misogyny because it is a controversial topic. Um, and it's a topic that can be very reactionary for women. Well, um, didn't you, when I asked the question earlier, didn't you just outright say, yeah, I think the podcast is misogynistic? I, that was, I was reading from what I had said a year ago and the no, notion didn't that Didn't you tell my staff that the podcast, Nick, did she? I said I was blocked on Instagram because I called that podcast misogynistic. I don't even think in your original messages, did you even say misogynistic? Yes, I did. I think if you, you want to pull it up again. We could, we could pull it up again really quick just so I can scan it. Nick. I, I mostly tuned, uh, zoned in on uh, exploitation. Uh, there's a lot of exploitation, uh, young women, women of color, uh, hyper, uh, it's, it's up. I don't know if I saw an accusation oh, okay. of actual well, regardless, misogyny. I'm sure my prospect of, of downplaying the woman experience okay. was centralized around misogyny. Yes, so, that's correct. But, correct me if I'm wrong, but I do think you indicated either behind the scenes, in messages, or even on the show that you view the podcast, I don't know if it's myself, as misogynistic. Yes. And then I think you did too? Yeah, I mean, can I ask you like, oh, sorry, can I ask you like a question and you respond to it, engage with it like in good faith and so genuine? Well, allow me to ask a couple of my okay. questions first, but it. you you think that the podcast is misogynistic? I believe that you benefit from misogyny and I think I that has misogynist- from misogyny. Well, here's my question, I'm just gonna ask it. Well, um, hold on. I'm, I'm in the middle of. Well, you asked me a question. My, my question is thread. a response to what you just asked. Um, why do you think it is that every person who sends you money is saying something misogynistic if you don't benefit from? Are misogyny? you new to the internet? Like, do you realize how w no. when you have anonymity and you have just total on YouTube, these are all anonymous people, super toxic. I don't cosign. I even said I disavow some of their You might not co-sign, but I'm asking why. I mean, none of it's like, say, anti-Semitic. None of it's like um, other isms that we could do with our anonymity. It's all sexism and misogyny. So why do you think those people are watching you and sending you money, if not you benefiting from misogyny and stoking that for your own personal benefit? Well, I think you're making a lot of assumptions there no, that I are mean, not you can based in you reality can read the at all. You can read the comments and say they're misogynist. If you say they're not, that we're, doesn't make we're them We're doing the live. Fine, then all the commenters who comment on your behalf are misandrous then. Sure. <laughs> Go for it. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, well, that makes a lot of sense, right? So, so, again, everything's anonymous. As a man, I don't know how to take responsibility for what other people say. So I can have a conversation about the things that I discuss on the podcast. Mm -hmm. But I can't be, like, I don't know how to be responsible for what somebody else says, especially somebody who says it anonymously. So, I didn't, no, I didn't say you were responsible for it, but I think you benefit from it and you intentionally engage with those comments okay. and you stoke that kind so of discord. You, did you say you consider yourself a feminist? I do. Okay. So you benefit from a misandrous system. Now, I'm I disagree one with podcast. That. I have, you were talking about. Uh, systemic. What was the other word you used? In, in, uh, there's systemic, and then there was another word. I'm trying to remember. Institutional. Institutional. So I have one podcast. You're a feminist. I have. I have absolutely no power compared to the absolute uh, Goliath that is feminism. You're laughing. Every single university in this country has a feminist studies program, a woman's studies program, a gender studies program. Every single university, all these universities are systems. And these systems have $100 million endowments. That's what I'm up against. You guys have all the power. Feminism has all the power. It has infiltrated all the institutions, institutions of higher education, government, media, Corporations. Do you think my message is the mainstream? I'm the counterculture. No, I don't. I don't think I'm the, the counterculture. You, as a feminist, possess all the systemic 
an institutional power in this country. I would disagree with that. I think that's How is that inane. conceived in, in all, in government, in media, in corporations, in uh, the higher education system? Feminism has 100% control. It is the status quo. How can you sit here and say that? And feminism preaches an absolutely man-hating ideology. The core tenant, The core tenet of feminism is the patriarchy theory, which in my view is a is a absurd conspiracy theory. What would you say the patriarchy theory is? I mean, there's different definitions of it. It's this idea that men hold all the power, women are precluded from having any power, and that men as a class are oppressors and women are the oppressed. If that's what you're teaching people in these systems, in these mm -hmm. systems of education, you're teaching women to have absolute contempt and hatred towards men. If you're teaching women that they are oppressed and that men are the fault of that and that men are the oppressors, you hold all the cards, you hold all the power. So what do you think we should be teaching women? Well, I think that the first thing Not is, is that if you experience any sort of ridicule whatsoever from a dynamic that you don't disparage them, Instead, you hear what they have to say. In this particular case, Brian points out something which is uh, very interesting. Who holds the institutional powers at the incel of the feminist? You tell me. Um, I would say that incels do not hold any institutional power, but I would say this is also getting away from my original question, which was, you, I mean, I guess it's not a question. It's more of a statement. You benefit from misogyny. It doesn't matter who has the institutional power. You benefit, you also benefit from, from misogyny. misogyny. If you didn't, you wouldn't be here right now. I benefit from misogyny? You must, because your claim here is that a bunch of misogynists are having you on to spread your message. I mean, I, I guess in that way I do benefit from it. But then I we guess would both, you do. We would I both, guess you benefit so from you, all this but, misogyny. So you admit it's that crazy, he also benefits from it. He yeah. also benefits from it, right? I don't even know what well, that argument it, so, is, so though. I, I'll let you reclassify the word to misogyny as long as you say that a bunch of patriarchist misogynists are benefiting you by allowing your message to go out to them. Go ahead and say that for us, if you I don't mean, mind. I mean, the thing is, my message is not going out to a sympathetic crowd right now. I mean, you can see who's watching and who's sending money. No one who's listening is going to... I didn't know what this podcast was when they invited me on. I was well, invited that's, on that, hang on, two that's hours also incorrect, beforehand. just so you know. Hang on, let me, let me just give you uh, some framing. I understand what your framing is. Steel manning it back. Hey, I, I understand, but I'm in a hostile crowd. But you're really not. You might be in a hostile crowd right now with the chat, which is currently right here. However, millions of people will likely see the clips that come off of this podcast, and you will get a sympathetic ear from that. And I also don't buy that you didn't know what this podcast was. I did. I'm sure that you you seem like you're the type who's diligent and does your research. Are you not that kind? I, I don't watch podcasts. I don't know. You don't? Okay. So you just agree blindly to just whatever anybody offers you? Hold on. Yeah. Okay. Let's no, wait, yes? No, 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 no. no. Did Let's... you just say yes? Would you like to move on, or would you like me to respond? No, 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 I would like to, I would like to just finish this real quick. I'm almost done. Okay, don't Andrew. Mind. <laughs> that was a so, joke. I, I so, don't actually... So just... No, no, okay, you don't actually. So you didn't do any of your due diligence Look, research before not, going on a podcast. Uh, you didn't have no idea what was going to happen. You had no idea that this was a dating podcast Andrew, where it's an adversarial relationship between the males and the females. You had no clue. No, I, I, it was marketed as a dating podcast, but I kind of just did it because it sounded fun. I mean, I don't... The fact Call that on. it's hostile is... Go ahead. F final thing, and I'll go. I was Come just going to say, I'm not saying that, that, you know, so this is what you do. This is your... I'm... My only point was that you benefit from people's misogynistic viewpoints, and if, I, and if that makes me benefiting also, from it too, do, sure, too as well, right? By, um, sure, I'm ben on this day. I'm benefiting from it, but only one of us has the podcast and does it continually. I'm just a guest benefiting so, from well, it. So, like how could you how could you blame a bunch of misogynist, patriarchist lunatics Andrew, for center, promoting you? Can you, you? Center, please. Okay. No, set, like, can you center? <laughs> no, yeah, yeah, yeah. How can you blame a bunch of evil misogynists for allowing you to get your message out there? Um, Does I, that sound like misogyny? I mean, yeah, because they're benefiting from the misogynists oh, who are watching. They're but not, you're also benefiting from yeah, the misogyny. I already admitted to that. Sure, today I'm yeah, but making so money how from this it. Make, yeah. How is this even a criticism then? I don't even this, really... Wouldn't this mean that misogyny I, was good? Wait, wouldn't that mean hello. misogyny is good if you're benefiting from it? I don't yeah. even really understand. Doc Vinably donated two hundred dollars. 
To paraphrase Rush Limbaugh, the Whatever Podcast is equal time pushing back against the systemic misandry of feminism. Evidence, The Boy Crisis by Farrell. Very well put, Doc Venables. I thought Rush Limbaugh was dead. <laughs> uh, okay. I just think it's weird that it seems like yeah, most of the... Yeah, he is after the... he destroyed an entire culture of Hello? progressive scumbags. Hello, can you hear yes, me? That's true. Can you hear me? Another... Can you hear me? Devon Jackson donated $200. As someone who's sent as much if not more money to this podcast than anyone, I can assure you I've never said anything misogynistic, so from the bottom of my heart, fuck you. The individual, not the woman. Oh, so, okay, you're saying that I benefit, but what is really, thank you, Devon, what, I, I don't really understand your argument here, because, like, let's say, for example, uh, Joe Biden received political contributions from a like radical feminist group that hates men which he does sure sure like does that mean that he just because he receives the support of a radical group that he necessarily and look i don't want to get into joe biden's views on shit but uh does that means mean that he co-signs those views because he has received the support of said group and we've seen this a lot from trump where trump will will get uh, an endorsement from somebody who's a radical in some way and then that is somehow re it, it must mean it's a reflection on Donald, Donald Trump's precise political views and ideology when that's not the case so it, 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 I'm just not really sure what your argument is I didn't say you were co-signing it that your own opinions on women are your own but you, I mean my only argument is that you're benefiting Grid from one the financial Motorsports donated $200 okay. I rebuke the claim of misogyny However, I will call stupid stupid and would prefer brutal honesty to comfortable lies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can see why you would not. The patriarchy is here to help you, not Brixen. <laughs> Thank you, Grid One Motorsports. Appreciate it. Um, okay, so you view the podcast as misogynistic. Anyone here else think the podcast is misogynistic? Uh, I don't really watch it, so I am not able Do to you? determine that. Look, I just want to say this, and I'll make it quick. I find it weird that a lot of your audience seems to either... I wouldn't say that they hate women, but okay. it's like women that do like OnlyFans or like sex work, and then they pay a lot of money just so they can like insult women. And that's odd to me. I'm not saying what everyone else at the table is saying, but I'm saying that that is okay, weird and it's negative. Exclude the viewers. Exclude the audience. Of the things that are discussed on the podcast, do you view the podcast as misogynistic? Mm, no. Okay, but you two do. So I have a question. Mm -hmm. You use the word. How do you def split, please? Ooh, okay. How do you define misogyny? Um, I would say that it's not opinion based rather the instigating of anti-woman concepts so anytime you ask a question there's kind of an automatic rebuttal so what? you're going you're going into it of oh well women shouldn't should do this but shouldn't do this and women should feel this way but they feel this way or putting words into everyone's mouths i think kind of promotes this idea of misogyny um obviously it's a blanket term and i i do feel as it was overused and i apologize um but i do think to some capacity benefiting off of the hatred or you're not answering the question okay my How perspective of mis misogyny? i define misogyny as expressing hatred towards women from a gender standpoint rather than an objective opinion or material matter such as hating on a woman for how she looks telling a woman that she is incompetent or dumb more what based if off she of is is it misogynistic then to tell an incompetent person they're incompetent not um, that i've done that but is it an opinion what? Dig big energy donated two hundred dollars would happily support a podcast that's promoting celibacy virginity and lifetime godly marriages 
We're supporting because we understand we're steering the culture in a positive direction. That's what we should be doing. Yeah. Thank you, <laughs> DBE. Thank you, man. Sure. Appreciate it. And I think um, I loved like your conversation. Um, and I think I think we often get boxed into this idea of I have to have this opinion or I have to have this other opinion just because we perceive one thing said as a certain way. Um, I think being called bratty for having my own opinion is highlighted in misogyny. I think if I were a man, a lot of my opinions would be perceived in a different way. So I think that misogyny well, yeah, we is more- yeah, we would assume you would be making sound arguments and we would take it- That is seriously. misogyny. If you assume I would no, be making not, sound arguments misogyny. because I was a man, that is misogynistic. Yeah, I mean, you really if, just like oh are digging you yourself into a hole. What do you mean? What do I mean? You're really just you just said way. if I were you a man. You haven't made a single good argument all night. Why so would if I take was a man, seriously? you would assume I would be making sound arguments, but because I'm yes, a woman, because, because I can't the, make a sound the, argument. The, do you know why the precondition applies here? Because we've listened to Killer you make nothing but relevant and rational arguments. Hold on, How many women line? also donate to this podcast? Are they incel misogynistic degenerate men because they are female? Changing a perspective from a debate isn't misogynistic. The change was already in you. Right. Yeah. That chatter's hold, right. Wait, so hold, the, hold, the, hold, the wait, point sorry, here is hold, hold on, hold on, hold on. We'll, kill, a, kill of okay. cereal, thank you. Um, just to prove his point, I have a chat that's about to come in here from conservative Latina. Thank you. Love seeing Isabella on the pod. Hi. You're awesome. <laughs> girl, cue for the girls. Can women be sexist towards men? How would you feel if you heard men saying, I hate all women like women do? Also, Christ is king. Uh, thank you, conserv conservative Latina. I'll ask that question a little bit later. Uh, I'll get back to that, though. I have it written down. Thank you. Um, or Andrew, you, were, you had... Go ahead. Yeah, what I was saying specifically is we've, we've only judged you on the merits of what you said and the arguments that you've made. If you've acted like a brat, I don't recall calling you one. I don't think all. I didn't call you a brat. And Brian, I don't no, recall talking about calling you, you one either. No, no, no. I didn't say you guys. I was saying from the chat, it's okay for people to perceive yeah, but me why that is, way. Yeah, why is it that the people who tune into the show you're so adamant about, you're having the discussion with us, Who's viewing it should be relevant to that. They're going to judge you on okay. your arguments as well. And you know what? That's the most fair way to do things. Do you think that when I'm in debates with these massive liberal progressives all over the internet that I'm not getting judged by their audience because I am, then the last thing I say is, oh my God, they're judging me. It's terrible. That's ridiculous. Make the arguments and let's engage with them. What's the name okay, of so, this live? So... I don't know if I got a clear answer on this. How do you define misogyny? I, I just feel like no matter what I say, my opinion's going to be wrong. So I just, I would love to start having a conversation, like even just, with you about here, these other topics. Can you topics. just engage really quick? I so just, just, what do you want me to engage in? Because I'm constantly being well, shut you got down and told I'm wrong. There was an interruption from the TTS. Um, just if we can do split, Nick. So just how do you define misogyny? I define misogyny as exactly what he said to me. If I okay, were a man, if I were a man, I would be making sound arguments. I believe misogyny is That's defined as. That's actually not at, what I said. You did say. Did he say no, that? No, or did no, not no, say no, that? no. I was just actually I was granting your worldview. Just so you know, Wait, so you understand, I was granting your worldview. Okay. And I was saying because the precondition if, is you think that if you were a man, you'd be making sound arguments. That's what. That's what my point was. Okay, I'm sorry if I misunderstood you. My opinion, well, maybe I misogyny. Wasn't clear, so I'll apologize if I no, wasn't clear. No, 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 don't worry. That's my bad. Misogyny is founded in discrediting certain opinions or perspectives by being equated to womanness. So when a woman is loud, she's aggressive. But when a man is loud, he is a boss. He is a leader. Those are misogynistic perspectives Grid in one society. Grid Sports donated two hundred dollars. Dollar Store Blondie, we have listened to your inaccurate, trite, and wandering prattle all night. Perhaps you feel guilty about how you live your life in sin, acting a victim, and being argumentative. Maybe, but how am, but a perfect example of misogyny is how am I more argumentative than you two? Do Nobody's... you see my perspective? Yeah, but well, that person... between the two of us, you said twice as much as I have when I've been discussing things with you. Deep That's Big why. Energy donated $200. Misogyny is literally disagreeing That's not with women. At all what I think. If we don't stop this BS now, they lock us up for it. The hour is late, gentlemen. That's right. 
disagreeing with women, you know, it's going to be a felony pretty soon, guys. It's That is not at all soon. what I think. I don't hate all men. I love many men. I, I Do you don't... believe in the patriarchy theory? Or do you believe that there's a patriarchy? Um, it is objective that our society it's, is patriarchal. It's objective. Uh, it's, we literally are defined in every history book as a patriarchal Stinky society. Stinky Fingers donated $200. Not being able to adequately annotate your opinions as a speaker in this podcast does not infer misogyny. Oh, okay. This is your moment to be heard, and as guests, failing to be correct says something about you. Okay, Sticky Fingers, thank you. Um, how do you define misogyny? The hatred of women. Okay, so how have I hated woman, women? I didn't say you did. I said you're benefiting from the hatred of women. No, but you said the po okay, but that's a different conversation. Oh, you mean like saying okay? You said that the podcast is well, then, misogynistic. So are you, by your own admission, that makes you a misogynist. Don't engage. Don't engage I'm on not. that. Um, I maybe I should rethink my phrasing there then because I think saying the podcast is misogynist implies that you are a misogynist and you're out with the intention to degrade women and whatever. And whether or not I believe that, I'm not going to accuse you of that. Um, so if that's what you're defining the podcast as being misogynist as, I would say maybe it's not, but you are without a doubt, you can't even deny that you are benefiting from people who have negative opinions of women and negative biases towards women. Whether that makes the podcast itself misogynist, I guess is up for debate. Like, I, I don't know. Wait, so I have a question. Yeah. If, um, if a national socialist, do you have like a cash app or a Venmo or something? I do. And they were to just send you, do you, do you, are you in content creation at all or? A little bit. Do you have any like a link tree that links your cash app or Venmo or anything yeah. like that? Let's just say they found it and the National Socialist sent you $200. You're benefiting from not from, from a Nazi. Yeah, but I think there's a difference between- So someone... what's the, who, so, okay, so? Okay, so these people who are sending you money are frequent viewers. They, they like your content, they engage with it, they enjoy it, they come back for more. If someone were to randomly find me and send me $200 just because whatever reason, that has, that's not the same thing, it's not comparable. Like, these people are your fans, they are your viewers, they most likely agree with a good portion of what you say, otherwise they wouldn't be watching. You go to UCSB, right? I do. So you pay tuition to UCSB? Yes. Okay, so I would argue that the feminist studies program at UCSB, and all, you know, there's women's studies, feminist studies at every single university in this country. There's no corresponding men's studies uh, at any university as far as I'm concerned, as far as I know. Um, then aren't all these universities misandrist because they're benefiting from the tuition that these feminist studies majors are putting towards these universities. So every single university, every single system is just a man-hating system and they're all benefiting from feminist misandry. And well, I don't agree that feminism is misandrist. It absolutely is. Well, we disagree. So we, you can't argue on that point because I just don't Well, let's agree talk about that. patriarchy a little bit okay. then. Yeah. So you were about to define patriarchy. I don't know if you finished. No donated $200. So if I say that all women are dumb, I'm a misogynist. But well, a woman uh, can probably openly say would, all men are dumb be. and no one yeah. bats an eye. So, Double so, standards abroad, boys. So no women are here. No women here to clarify are saying all men are dumb because I don't believe no. that. I absolutely do not believe are, that. No. Hmm. I don't believe that all men are dumb. I don't believe all men are bad. I don't believe in categorizing people. Are you less safe at night because of men? Um, from a statistical standpoint, yes, because men... It's a bit racist, or sorry, not racist. It's a bit sexist, don't <laughs> well, you think? Well, is it sexist or is it objective in the sense that majority objective. of assault... Majority... Okay, for example, at UCSB, Elliot Rogers. Oh Let's talk about Elliot Rogers. Okay, never mind. We're not allowed to talk about it, but that's a perfect example of women and men being unsafe because of someone with misogynistic perspective. Yeah, let's talk about Mattress Girl then and talk about how many of these false allegations come out of these women who make these pretentious SA claims, which are completely and totally unfounded, which ruin men's lives. I think the university that is terrible. has complete and total control over throwing them out and ruining their lives absent any criminal investigation whatsoever. Let's talk about that. Statistically, that is much less likely than a SA allegation being founded in truth and majority of... Oh, yeah? Of... Prove it. Okay, 
Prove statistically, it, prove it. false allegations are more common. Yeah, like you prove I, it. I, I just, I know so uh, we, many well, women. So here's the thing: we can prove it. So let's no, take okay, a look okay, at it objectively. Go ahead. When you say SA, you also will make the bold claim, and these are consent claims, where you will claim that a woman, after she's engaged in the deed, can no, take consent away. I yes, disagree. Yes, they do it all the time, and you know I that am that's not, done. I am not that woman, and I would argue that is not majority of women that do that. I'm not saying you are, but I just want you to that. acknowledge that that is done. I'm sure it has happened the same way that men have gone and actually assaulted certain women. Absolutely. And majority of those cases are never reported. Women. I have no dispute with and that And majority claim. of what men who are essayed, it's, it's, it's by other men. It's you know, neat yeah. that you will only acknowledge that men are engaged in this essay culture, but you don't acknowledge that the counter to this is that women often make up these false essays. When did I not acknowledge that? Absolutely no way. To, to have any recourse because it's done outside of even a criminal justice system. This is what I was talking about when I feel like this podcast is just telling me my opinions. I completely disagree. I, I'm not telling you your opinion. I completely I'm disagree you my opinion. with women doing false accusations. I think that is a horrible thing to do to someone else. It is not something I would ever do, nor do I agree with, nor do I promote. I think there should be full criminal investigations. I think there should be um, uh, yeah. Why do I get the feeling that you have, you have a, 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 a woman's right problem. to choose sign up, but you've never had a, let's investigate the men who are falsely accused of SA. Would I would 100% if, if there were men who were falsely accused of, of SA, I would 100% be in support of promoting more, further investigation into those cases the same way I would promote further investigation into any SA charge. Um, and I think one of the issues is we're trying to talk about like an issue that can be prominent to women and it's being overridden by but what about this? When we should be discussing like one issue at yeah, a time, but that's let's a what put about our focus on one with. thing, and then we put our focus on the next thing. Yeah, yeah but and it's and a what aboutism to begin with. And then and you're so also if you're going to use a what aboutism as your argument. It's fair play to use a what aboutism back against and it. And sure, but you're also telling me I have a different political ideology that I haven't discussed on and I haven't spoken on just okay, because well, I believe. Okay, well, let me just ask you directly so that I'm not strawmanning anything at all. Are you pro-choice? For me personally, I am pro-choice. I personally, yes. I personally would choose so then, to not have an abortion, though. For me personally, I, I but I think under under the way, United States they, they clause of privacy, under the United States that. clause of privacy, I believe women have the right of privacy to their body and their own autonomy choice. Whether or not I would do it myself is a different conversation. I personally think I would not be able to live with that because I very deeply want to be a mother, and I think. And have you engaged in political activism? No. Never? I mean, not not to a sustainable capacity, no. What does that mean? I, I, I'm, I'm not in politics. I, I no, that's not don't what I'm directly asking. change I'm asking laws. I'm asking if you've ever engaged in political activism. Have you been out there marching with BLM? Have you been doing things like this ever? Uh, maybe when I was young. Yeah, okay, gotcha. And have you ever marched for any men's rights advocacy whatsoever, ever? Um... I don't see the relevance if it's not something I have you or haven't do. you I, I just don't see the relevance because sir. the relevance is showing you this that it's interesting that on the one hand you say I'm totally against all of these things okay but when you're then give me, give me a march. hang on Let I'm trying finish. to tell you so that you know do you want to hear the answer or not go ahead yeah. go ahead when all you right. say when you say I'm engaged in all this political activism or even a minor amount of political activism that the political activism that you're engaged in is never for men's rights advocacy, while at the other corner of your mouth you say that you would be I, for men's I rights actually advocacy have, under these certain conditions. I actually, but of course your political advocacy never reflects that. That's I actually I have advocated online several times and in several conversations on my social media platforms. I do poetry on TikTok as well as live discussions on my TikTok. Um, I have talked about how men's... Um, unalive rates are extremely high in our country and that is a problem I am very passionate about and yeah, I have and seen a lot of men. I'm guessing the patriarchy, right? I, why, why are you guessing what I am doing? Why are you well, telling me my opinion? Well, i directly. Who do you blame it on? The patriarchy or feminism? You are I would not never a good blame, debater. I'm I would sorry. never blame such a horrible <laughs> issue. Andrew, she, say, she, she says you're not a good debater. I would never, well, really never a bad debater. A point, I'll believe I would her, never blame case, such a sensitive and horrible issue on any specific thing. The only way that I can get this woman's position out is to guess at them because she won't tell us them. 
She hides them. I just told you. And she hides them on purpose. Every time I've asked a probing question, it's always hidden. It's okay, always how? a word Okay, salad. so let's, let's unpack. Let's unpack. So let unpack. me just ask you directly. Please. Are you a progressive feminist who is pro-choice, who believes that a patriarchal system is oppressing women or not? Those are two specific blanket terms, and yeah, I don't so agree with blanket term ideology. Yeah, so specific questions then. Do you believe that a patriarchy is oppressing women, and are you a progressive feminist who is pro-choice? No. Okay, so you're not pro-choice? I, I am pro-choice, but those okay. are, these are such specific. And are you specific, a progressive? You, had you are boxing people. there to get an answer out you, of her and then corner her. Yeah, you are it's impossible people. to get an answer out of her. Because life is not <laughs> so black her. and white. People can have <laughs> different not, opinions. Okay. People can be pro-choice for others and personally pro-life. People yeah, can I'm, I'm believe that men have I'm problems in society and women have problems in society. I believe that both, many groups of people suffer in their own unique way, I think, that is really invalid to do such drastic blanket terms on such vast issues, in my opinion. Okay, I, okay let's try this a different way then. If, if, if you had to choose between progressive liberal feminists Why do I have or to conservative, choose? if you had to, it's a hypothetical, or traditional values uh, female, which one would you pick? I would pick neither. If you had to, I, why do I have to? There's no because world in which I have to. Because that's the point of the hypothetical. Yeah, but you're instigating. You you're instigating on things that I don't politically align with. Just, just it doesn't engage. matter. Just try to engage in the hypothetical. I, okay, maybe, maybe it doesn't matter. But a hypothetical is designed to test your logic. So breakfast. Uh, let me ask the gal in yellow who thinks that I'm a terrible debater. Same question posed to you. Let's see if you can answer it. Well, uh, traditional, uh, tradcon, traditional conservative values. You believe in conservatism progressive feminist you had to choose the label which one do you choose i think if i had to choose which one i am yeah progressive feminist yeah exactly so now back over to you now that you saw that somebody can actually give a straight answer which one would you choose um i'm declining this conversation yeah that's I don't right agree. because I don't you don't agree want to be honest it Light has that nothing cigarette. to do with honesty. It has Light everything it up, to do with me personally aligning with certain po political ideologies. Not that saying don't, you do. I'm saying that if don't you had to choose between the two, hypothetically, you only had these two to choose from, which one would you be more aligned with? You don't know? You don't even know? It's, it's, you engage in political activism, you don't know which side you're more politically activated I, on? When did I say I engage in political activism? I just well, got it out of you five seconds ago. Asked you if you marched with Black Lives Matter. said, sure, when I was younger, that's political activism. So now back to this. If you had to choose between the two, which one would you choose? You got this. I believe in you. Guys, that's so condescending. My point <laughs> is, is that two things... You got so this. Two things just answer the question. Holy this. shit. It's but, a hypothetical, why, though, if you had to pick... Oh my god, fine, she won't do it. Okay, hold on. Uh, 